Welcome to my channel, Marty Let's Go Cubs. Today I'll be showing you more of my collections. As you can see here, this is a uh, pennant flag that flew over the uh, right field rooftop of Wrigley Field. The logo of the beer was only used for a few years, and then they went with the walking beer. As you can see, it's you see where it's worn, where they attached it, along with the bottom. It's fairly dirty, which is good because it's been used. This is a, a ticket stub from the 60s. It's actually a rain check stub. And then here's a pocket lineup cards. They gave to the umpire and the manager kept. And unfortunately, it's faded quite a bit. But if you up here, if you see here, is Harry Carey signed autograph along with a Harry Carey soda can from 1988, red cream. And here is a 1967 lineup card, two of them. And as you can see, they have Banks, Sano, Huntley, Kessinger, all the great players. Billy Williams from 1967, two of them. Here's the date there. I have plastic on them, so there's a little shine from the camera light. Uh, these two items are the All-Star can from 1975, the front and back, and a Cubs uh, 1968 viewfinder. And uh, I put that in plastic, and it's the original plastic on there too. So it hasn't been opened. Along with uh, Jack Bickhouse playing cards, and a Jack Brickhouse giveaway bobblehead, 2014. Aron Santo signed autograph copy of his book, For the Love of Ivy, an autograph copy of Billy Williams' book. And we have uh, Ernie Banks who came out with a record album in 1972. And the theory of hitting. I have two of them. So I'm able to show you the front and back cover. And speaking of records, here's another one. Great Moments in Baseball. Narrated by Jack Brickhouse, the famous announcer. Cubs had two great ones. Brickhouse and Carey. And here's the back cover. I have two records. Here's a mini all-star a uh, bat from 1990 when the Cubs had the All-Star game last time. This is a mini uh, bat from the World's 1932 series. A souvenir bat. And you can see 1988 first night game giveaway hat. I was there. With my father. We went together. 1988, and the game only lasted several innings, and it poured, but it was great to see. And, of course, Rick Southcliffe was there, and he started promoting wiffle balls. And here's his um, uh, face on this wiffle ball. And the Die Hard, my dad was a Die Hard uh, fan club. He was a member. And, and Dallas Green... And Ernie Banks were the president. I'm going to move back here and show you. This is a, a 14 pennant flag that flew over Wrigley Field rooftops. Um, when Ernie Banks passed away, and honor him, they, for one full week, they had uh, all the flagpoles on the rooftop with a uh, number 14 pennant flag here. 
and this is one of them. I got this a couple years ago. It's one of my pride and joys. You know, Ernie Banks was my favorite play player, and uh, he uh, he was just a great player. This is um, a Little League bat, and it's 1965, and Ernie Banks has his name on here. I'm sure this was the most popular bat in Chicago in the 60s. And here's an autographed bat that I received in 1992. And here's Ernie Banks' signature. His uh, little baseball. And he wrote a book, Mr. Cub. And he's still Mr. Cub. There's, uh, they even had some Ernie Banks lottery ticket. Lottery ticket. Is that neat? This is used, but I'm not a winner. And here is Ernie Banks' Commemorative plate. Uh, this is 281. One a little statue of Ernie Banks. Here's another one giveaway. I'll move my uh, game used jersey here. I can show you. There you go. A couple bobbleheads. That one is plastic. A couple plastic ones, and then you got um, a few ones that. Um, our um, giveaways here. For instance, that one's a giveaway. Now it's a giveaway 2009. And in the, in the uh, set 1971, Ernie Banks came out with a toy and a record set uh, for ball and strike. They would hold that uh, ball with the rope and you would try to hit it. And he, here he has his face for advertising. And when he did 500 home runs. They gave away the Hall of Fame poster. And you can see him having his trophy. And there's some records here. Teamwork, which is really neat. Uh, it's a 45. Along with another 45 they gave away in 1964. I believe it was given away at a gas station. Um, not only him, but they had other baseball players. Famous baseball players. I think Pete Rose had one too. So, but that's the only one I have. Uh, uh, baseball di uh, Digest, excuse me, Baseball uh, Digest, and um, 1977. There was another book, um, Game of My Life. Ernie Banks had several pretty good books, and I'm sure they all are good sellers because he. You know, he was one, not only was he a popular player in in Chicago, of course, but he was pretty, pretty well known throughout the country, whether you're in California, New York, everybody loved Ernie Banks. They still do. I know I do. And, you know, everyone, Ron Santo, Billy Williams, Fergie Jenkins. You know, these are all players from this 1969. And you can see some of the bobbleheads that I showed you in my previous uh, vlog. And if you go back, you'll see these bobbleheads. I discussed about them. So I won't talk about them right now. Um, and here's just a poster of his, his uh, stats. So that's my hallway. Not big, but it, I like it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, please hit like. And please subscribe to my channel, Marty Let's Go Cubs. It keeps you in the loop of all my Cubs souvenirs and plus other activities that I will be doing in the past weeks. Thank you.